since this practical video, which is required practical 10 for biology, investigating the effect of temperature on the rate of decay. Now I'm going to start off by showing you how to set up the experiment, and then we've got in the background some that we set up earlier, which we're going to be able to use for the experiment because they've already temperature acclimatized. So the first thing we need to do is start measuring out some of our um, chemicals here. So I'm going to start off by taking 5 centimetres cubed or 5 mil of my milk. Now I'm going to do that using this syringe and we've colour coded ours so we don't get contamination but you can just as easily label up your um, beakers and things like that. So I'm going to take 5 mil and I'm going to add this into a colour coded boiling tube so we know exactly what's gone in there. Next chemical is 7 mil of my sodium carbonate solution. And again, that's going in with the milk. And then I need to add how many drops am I going for here? Five drops of my Cressel Red, which is going into the milk again. And we've got a lovely purple colour, pinky purple, in our milk there. Now, the second thing I'm going to get is my lipase solution. So for this one, I'm going to need five mils. Again, it's a color coded, in our case, we're using a syringe uh, so that we don't get contamination or mixing before the experiment's ready to start. And then both of these are going to go into a water bath. We've got to let these temperatures acclimatize. I'm going to put my thermometer in there with the milk. We've got to let our temperatures acclimatize so that both chemicals are the correct temperature before we start our experiment. Okay, now these ones have acclimatized, the temperature of our milk solution and of our lipase are the same. Uh, this one is our 37 degree water bath. You're going to need to use a kettle and mix that hot water with different volumes of coal to get to the temperatures that you want to use. Um, now we're going to mix one milliliter or one centimeter cubed of our lipase. Now we would have had five in there. But to save a little bit of time and to warm it up a little bit quicker, we've just got the one milliliter that we're going to be adding to our milk pre-measured out. So I'm going to pour this into my milk boiling tube and I'm going to press start on my timer. Now I'm going to give that a swirl around and we're going to time how long it takes for us to get a colour change. So I've given it a swirl. I'm also going to use a glass rod to make sure I've really mixed that lipase in well. Now, as the enzyme works on the milk, the fat in the milk, it's going to convert the fat into glycerol and fatty acids, and that is going to change the pH. It's going to slowly make the pH more acidic, so it's going to lower the pH. And that will hopefully give us a colour change with our indicator. OK, this is the colour change that we are looking for. Uh, you can see from our original purple-pink kind of colour, uh, as the... Fats were broken down into glycerol and fatty acids by the lipase. It has lowered the pH, making it more acidic. And now our indicator has changed and it's got a kind of slightly pale yellowy colour. It almost just looks like milk again. Um, and for our uh, 37 degrees, that took 32 minutes. The other ones are still running. So they are going to take quite a long time. So this experiment, you do need to plan a lot of time in for it.